Now the diffusion is back, I mean uh, now, and uh, we are ready to prepare the plexiglass. Just make sure uh, there's no ducts here. If there's some, uh, just clean it. Um, also, they like, clean the, the plexiglass too, you know, just uh, clean it. And if you see anything that was story or stuff like that, you clean it. But again, be sure the rough side is on, the smooth side is always facing a diffusion sheet. So the rough side should be on the back. Oops, I see it, that's here. The reason we're gonna do how to put back, this is how we're gonna put back the plastic film. The reason because the space is so tight, you, if you try to fit in here first and put the plastic, it's never gonna work. So just to make sure our job much more easier. So now, we are going to put it back like this. See that? Done. So next thing, we're gonna put better school here. Okay, the small schools here. Okay. Okay, next thing. See, it's kind of dirty, so I had to clean it because of the table. So we had to clean it really good, no rush, because some dust is stay here, and when you flip over, you might fall inside the center. So just make sure it edge, nothing on it. Make sure it's clean. So ready to put back a uh, liquid glass. The liquid glass is here, and uh, make sure the liquid glass is clean too. So I'm gonna clean it. So we're gonna set it aside here. We're gonna do it here. Oops. Flip over here. Then you kind of get in your hand. Be grab the liquid glass. Put it like this. Make sure the glass is inside of the plastic film. Sit inside the plastic film all the way. It's not, so I need to make sure you will sit inside the plastic film. Here you go. A little bit this side. Okay, just grab it like this. All right. So what I do is I want to put back the the metal film first because then hold before you put it back at school. So I'm gonna put it like this. Just be really careful. Be sure that it's inside the liquid glass inside the plastic film. So that way when you push together, it won't crack the glass. So it's good. Next thing, we're gonna put back the schools. I don't need my gloves, so I take it out much easier. So here's a school joint. You put back the small screw here. All right, four screws total here. Okay. Put back this plastic. And then you can uh, add the aluminum foil here, both end to uh, to a uh, cover the light breathing out, and um, just bend this back to the way it is. And now we have just finished install a uh, UB fifty four series LED light on the CLAA one five zero XP zero one P, 
have this screen that you using on the Elo Touch ET uh, 1537 L. I have a add, uh, see this aluminum foil uh, to cover the light, prevent the bleeding out on both ends, and add black tips to stabilize secure these wires. So we ready to put back a uh, to a Elo Touch chassis. So now we have put it back like this because that's what it really is. The uh, next thing we need to do, we need to mount this invert, uh, converters. So basically, we're gonna remove the old one first. Okay, old one. Disconnect this wire. So let's make sure this can be used one. Like this. Well, in that case, we just use the uh, adhesive pole because this pole is a little bit higher than this one. We cannot use one of the screw holes. So, and then um, this kit also comes with the wire wire adapters that we show you at the beginning of the video. One end connects to here. The other end connects to here. Okay. So what we do is that we're gonna take out the. Let me see here. Yeah, that's that's about right. So, just stick it here. We can put it back. Okay. Or we can do it like this. It's okay too. You know. See. Either way. That's. Okay. We're gonna do it this way. Okay. So basically, peel it off. All right. Peel it off. And we can up. Just mount it like this. Use a screwdriver to make sure it stick to it. Don't worry about the metal pole because at this height of our plastic adhesive hole is a little bit higher than the original metal pole. So even though you touch it, it uh, we it, it don't matters. So this is about right. I already mount it. See that? Mount it right. Okay. Next thing, we need to okay connect this uh, a uh, LED here. So that would be a little bit problems. I'm gonna connect it back here. Okay. Okay. The other end here. You see this? So one last thing. This cable. Just connect it back like this. Connect it, and then we just put it back to the to the touch screen, right? So, and then, yep. Just put the plastic, and then that's it. So, this is how we you can upgrade to a um, from CCFL to U, uh, the UB54 series. Again, uh, this model is ET 1537L, and uh, after you upgrade the LED, it will last long, long time. Thank you for watching.